Darren, I, I got the feeling that you knew that was going in because before it even went through the rim, you kind of spun around. It looked like you were starting to celebrate that. Did you feel it, that it was going in? Yeah, I kind of felt that one going in. So they left the finger, fingertips then as it was like in midair. I was like, oh yeah, this one's good. What was the play design there in the last couple of seconds? What was the goal there? Um, we ran it the right way. I was actually trying to drive, but he kind of cut me off going middle. So I know I only had 2.3 seconds. So I just, and I heard Coach Norris say, just shoot it on the sideline. So I just <laughs> let it go. Is that the type of moment you, you dream of as a kid? Oh, definitely, definitely. I actually, on um, my freshman year, I had the same kind of opportunity, but my foot was on the line and we lost by one. So at Penn. So yep, at verse 10, yep. And then, so this actually made up for it for me. Darius, what's the feeling when you see Darren's shot going? I'm just happy for him, man. I mean, he shoot those shots all types of every day. So, I mean, pretty much every time he shoot, I know it's going to go in. If it doesn't, I'm surprised. So, I'm just happy for the kid. The last time, the last time you guys played ACU was on the road and went to overtime as well. So, two games, you know, thrown towards the end. What type of ex what, what the experience, what does this do for you guys and the ability to win games close at the end? Um, it just shows our execution. I mean, we, we do a lot of uh, offensive execution in practice, a lot of late game situations. So we build up and then we practice that every day. So, I mean, it's, it's no surprise to us. It looks like it should have been UCF ball. It looked like it was off ECU, but they kept it and said it was off of UCF. But was there a chance UCF, it looks like a couple of guys might have helped tip it in. Did you kind of see on that, on the time when they tied it? Do you think yeah. maybe you guys may have aided it a little bit? I'm actually the one who tipped it in. I went, to, uh, <laughs> okay. I went to go grab the ball and he just happened to like <laughs> hit it right on my hand. So, I mean, there's nothing you could do about that. It was just, just luck was on their side that day. But <laughs> you were just giving Darren the opportunity to seal that game winner. Right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, Darren, when's the last time you won a game like that? Hitting a shot at the very end like that. Have you uh, done that before? A game winner, it was probably high, it was high school. Yeah, and uh, I think it was going in a regional championship, actually. So, You know, both, both sides were actually getting to the foul line a lot, a lot of, a lot of fouls uh, during the game. Um, had a lot of guys getting foul trouble where you saw some of the, uh, a lot of the lineup in the game here. And um, then also, uh, Ray Mahan, of course, out with an injury as well. What does that say about your guys that, I mean, going deep in the Jabil time, doing their part? You talked about it, uh, uh, Darius, you talked about execution, and Darren, you talked about getting things done down the stretch. I mean, how much more does it say that you were able to still kind of keep up and hang in in a battle like this with that much time being missed by starters? Um, I feel like that shows, you know, people that we actually, we really do have depth. I know, um, I feel like that game doesn't, we don't win that game without Ty Freeman, just cause he, he played big minutes. And as you see, he's real poised. He's not going to you know, take shots he knows that he doesn't need to take. He's going to take his mid range, get to the basket, his open threes. And that's what we need from our guys coming off the bench like that. Well, back on Brandon and the boot, what is the impact on your offense? How does it impact the team? Um, oh, you wanna go? Um, I would say it's, it's a pretty big impact uh, considering he's one, of, he's one of the uh, top three scorers on our team. So. I mean, we just got to push through and like figure out other ways to score. I mean, we got to use the other guys on the team. And I think a great example is that was Ty Freeman and I and Jamil. Like both of those guys stepped up and they played big minutes and made big shots and big time plays. So I mean, we can ask nothing more of them. Darren, have you seen Ty improve over the season, over the course of the season? But, you know, get, to be an ability to get those minutes today. Um, I would say I've kind of seen Ty do this. You know, since he came in, I think it's more. of uh, a confidence thing, and I think like like the past few days in practice, like his confidence is really up there. He's been you know playing playing real well. You know he's just a, a energy guy as well. You know grabbing rebounds. You know I think he I I just I remember three offensive rebounds off rip. Just so it's just those are big things that we need from. Him. How, do, oh, go ahead, how do you think East Carolina feels about UCF? I mean that game up there, I mean, they probably thought they were gonna win that one going away. <laughs> you guys still have found a way to win it. Then this game today, how do you think they're feeling right now? Uh, I mean, I feel like they probably got a, mix, a lot of mixed emotions, but um, at the end of the day, they can do nothing but move forward and look forward to the conference tournament. I mean, everyone, rankings don't even matter at that point. It's just who's going to play the better basketball and come out on top. I mean, you mentioned the conference tournament. How big of a deal is it that you guys ended up sweeping ECU? How much does that help your position in getting seated in there? Um, I think it helps our position a lot. I mean, at the end of the day, we're trying to finish off the rest of the season with W so we can punch our ticket into the tournament. So it's just one game at a time, one day at a time. Notice later in the game that um, both Bakke and, and uh, Jamil Reynolds weren't in there. You're kind of running a smaller uh, smaller lineup. See you in there mixing up, getting some boards there. So is that part of your game? Is that part of the plan or what? Um, Coach has really been emphasis on boxing out. So, I mean, I'm usually the guy that's not boxing out and my man gets the rebound. So it's actually helped me a long way boxing out and just going to grab the board. So, I mean, 
I can do nothing more for that and just hustle. Can you believe you're getting ready for senior night in a few days here against Cincinnati on Wednesday? And how important would that be for, you know, Brandon, who looks like he may not play, and Darius and some of those guys playing their final games? You know, I feel like it's, very, it's, it's, it's cool to come off a win going in, going to that game. You know, it's big. Um, you know, this, this game was for Brandon. You know, it's you know it's sad that Brandon can't play on his own senior night. But, you know, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to try to get the win for, for Brandon. All good, guys? Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks guys. Congrats. Appreciate it.